Welcome, creators. Today, we will be adding more ease to your day-to-day -day use of ChatGPT. We'll be showing you how to voice chat with ChatGPT on your Android device. There's a surprise at the end of the video. We bet you don't know about it yet. So without further delays, let's dive into the step-by-step -step guide. Setting up the Android device. To begin, ensure that you have an Android device with internet connectivity. The process is straightforward and you don't need to install any specific applications. All you need is a browser and access to the internet. So let's open our preferred browser on the Android device. Accessing ChatGPT. Now that we have our browser open, let's navigate to the OpenAI website or simply type OpenAI ChatGPT in the search bar. This will lead us to the official ChatGPT website. Initiating voice chat. Once you're on the ChatGPT website, you'll see the option to start chatting. Tap on it and a text box will appear prompting you to type in your messages. But what we want is to voice chat with ChatGPT, right? So here's the trick. Tap on the microphone icon near the text box. Granting microphone permissions. When you tap on the microphone icon for the first time, your Android device might request permission to access the microphone. It's essential to grant this permission to enable voice chat functionality. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to allow access. Interacting with ChatGPT. Great! Now that we have granted microphone permissions, let's begin our voice chat with ChatGPT. When you see a pulsating microphone icon, that indicates the system is ready to listen to your voice commands. Start speaking your questions or engage in a conversation with ChatGPT. That simple. Giving voice commands. Remember to speak clearly and concisely. You can ask general questions, seek advice, or even have a casual conversation with ChatGPT. The language model is designed to understand context and respond accordingly making the experience quite engaging. Listening to ChatGPT's response. After you've spoken your query, ChatGPT will process your input and generate a response. You'll see the text version of the response on screen. If you prefer to hear the response, you can enable the text-to-speech feature on your Android device. Most Android devices have this feature built in. If you're not sure how to enable it, a quick internet search for Android text-to-speech will guide you through the process. Further customization. There's more. ChatGPT can be further customized based on your preferences and needs. For instance, you can specify the temperature parameter to control the randomness of responses. Higher values like 0.8 will result in more creative and diverse answers, while lower values like 0.2 will produce a more focused and predictable response. This can be adjusted in the settings on the ChatGPT website. How ChatGPT adapts to non-native English accents. This is our surprise, one of the many hidden talents of ChatGPT, the ability to understand various non-native English accents. Did you know only 15% of the world population speaks in English? What about those who cannot speak in a native accent? When users interact with ChatGPT through voice chat, the model's performance with different accents can be affected in a few ways. Pre-processing and transcription. Before the voice input reaches ChatGPT, it goes through a speech-to-text transcription process. This transcription converts the spoken words into text. The accuracy of this transcription is critical, as any errors in this step may negatively impact the model's understanding. Large Training Corpus ChatGPT has been trained on a vast corpus of written text data, including a wide range of writing styles and language usage. While this does not directly address accents, it helps the model understand common language patterns and context. Understanding Context ChatGPT has been trained using a transformer-based architecture, which allows it to understand context and dependencies between words. This context helps the model infer the intended meaning of a sentence, even if certain words or pronunciations may be influenced by an accent. Language Robustness 
To some extent, language models like ChatGPT exhibit a degree of robustness to variations in language, including accents. They can handle syntactic and semantic differences to a certain extent, which can benefit non-native English speakers. Transfer learning. While ChatGPT might not have been directly trained on accent-specific data, it benefits from transfer learning. The model's pre-training on a massive data set allows it to capture general linguistic patterns that could be helpful in understanding various accents to some degree. Commonly encountered accents. ChatGPT might be more familiar with widely encountered accents due to the diversity of its training data. As a result, it may better understand and respond to those accents compared to very uncommon or regional accents. That's it, folks. Now you know how to voice chat with ChatGPT on your Android device. It's an exciting way to interact with this advanced language model, and you can have fun exploring its capabilities. However, keep in mind that it's still an AI language model, so while it can be helpful, it might not always be perfect. Feel free to experiment and enjoy your conversations with ChatGPT.